What is my type? Rich ain't thinking that's Mike. Nah, I'm just kidding. It won't stop. Boom, boom, boom. And it won't stop. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Yeah. What's going on? It's your girl Naomi X. Oh, and today, by the title, I am doing a quick q and A. I I asked you guys to send me questions. And you guys really, really came through. I got a lot, a lot of questions. And I'm not going to prolong the video. I'm going to really just hop right into it. And yeah, you're going to find out a little bit about me. And if you haven't seen my last video, make sure you go check that out right now. Like, just really just stop the video right now and go look at that. Thank you. Um, my first question is, how do I feel about being a junior at NSU? I feel really good. It's um something I've really worked hard for. Nobody can take that away from me. I'm at NSU. I love NSU. So I just feel, it feels so real. Time is winding down. Like I'm finna really be a senior and graduated from college. It's really crazy. Second question is my goals for the rest of 2020. Well, definitely to continue to put out more content for youtube i want to say i want to lose weight but i feel like i'm not finna do that right now i'm not even gonna lie to y'all like i don't have no urgency to go outside and work out so <laughs> we're just gonna say that goal for 2021 someone said are you single yeah i'm single and i talk to nobody like yeah Plans for the summer. My plans for this summer is to get a job, hopefully, whenever outside opens back up. Start saving money, start stacking, so that way my junior year I have money, like, saved for a good amount of time. So I don't really have to be scrambling last minute. What do you want to accomplish by doing YouTube? Um, I want to accomplish... Like, just to see where my creative mind can go, I'm going to school for. And that's another question, so I can just kind of answer that in a two-on-one. It says, what's my major? I'm going to school for film, so I love editing videos, putting clips together, watching the overall product of what I created. Like, I just enjoy the whole aspect of that. So, I just feel like YouTube is going to give me full control where I can just create my own videos, do what I want, voice in my opinion through my videos. If... This is a really, really good question. It says, if next semester is online, are you going to take a semester off? Yes, I am. I already went through my credits. I already talked to my advisor. And I'm already ahead. So that's a blessing. I really didn't slack my, my freshman and sophomore year. So I have really time or I have space to like not take classes. But I'm just the type to get it done, get it done, get it done. However... I don't want to continue to do online classes and bring down my GPA. Although I want to finish school as, as soon as I can, I still want to, you know, finish with a strong GPA. And I know that online classes is not really working for me. So if it is online next semester, I will definitely be taking a semester off. I'm going to pray that we go back to school in August, October something. But I just can't do online again. It was really, really hard for me to just do online. What's one thing that motivates me? That's hard. <laughs> I guess what people's, not opinions about me, but the way people like look up to me and people are always like telling me how blessed I am or they're always like mentioning how great I am and how happy I make them. That's what motivates, motivates me to keep the same like spirit energy that I have. I'm very cheerful. I have very good positive energy. So that was that's what motivates me when people like actually react to how you come across or how you want to be pursued and you see that people actually look at you like that and value like that. It's like, okay, dang, like I'm gonna keep going. Like I'm gonna keep doing this because it's making somebody happy. I can't make everybody happy, but as long as I'm making a couple people happy, I can, that's what I'm gonna do. And as long as I'm making myself happy, my favorite makeup look, um, my favorite makeup look would have to be this one right here. I'm going to add a little picture so y'all see. I don't know, it was the first time I really played with colors and did like something really bold. Biggest turn off, I'm assuming that biggest turn off is like biggest turn off in a relationship. 
So I'm gonna say, I don't like when someone's disrespectful, whether it's towards me or anybody that they talk to, like any any woman in their life that they talk to. I don't like that. I don't like if you're disrespectful because that's not cute. I just really look at you like, mm -mm, take me on. I don't like this. Pros and cons of my Zodiac sign. I'm a Sag. I am a Sag. The pros of my um Zodiac sign is that we are really loyal. We are a loyal people. We are so, 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 so big on loyalty. Like, that's one thing about me. I'm going to be loyal to whoever is loyal to me. You give me the same respect, I'm going to give you the respect back. That's how it that's how it is with me. Just give me the same energy and I'm a and we just we're going to be cool. We're going to be real good. Cons of my um Zodiac sign, we put others above us all the time. Like we're always putting others above us all the time and we're scared to say no. But sometimes it's just like you have to say no. It's okay to say no. These questions is actually tying in together and I love it. It's just like y'all are all connected and asking questions that follow each other. Because the next question on here is what's the uh, best advice you've gotten? Two weeks ago, my friend Passion, shout out to Passion. I'm tripping, not two days ago. I mean two weeks ago, two days ago. She had pulled me aside and she basically was like, um, I need to stop putting other people above me. It's okay to say no. As long as I'm not putting myself first, I'm going to continue to like miss something from myself and not push myself because I'm always worried about the next person instead of what, you know, I could be worrying about myself. Favorite candy? Um, I like M&M's, Yellow Bag, and I like Sour Patch, Watermelons. So if you want to buy me some candy... That's the ones you gotta buy, the little M&Ms and the Sour Patch Watermelons. What zodiac sign do you um, vibe with the most? I don't really know what zodiac sign is between January. It's my favorite sign, cause um, my friend Tierra, she, her birthday is in January and we click so perfect, like literally perfect. And so I love, love whatever her sign is because yeah they just click with our sign and that's crazy because i read it before like that me and her sign they click the next question is do i believe in love at first sight me personally i don't believe in love at first sight but then again i'm a big believer i don't believe in anything that ha hasn't happened to me so i haven't really been in love to like know that oh love at first sight is real i don't really go off what other people say what other people feel because i ain't feel it so I can't really say, oh yeah, I'm gonna say that love for sight is real because these people have been together for so long. Cause I don't know what they feel. I don't know how they feel. I believe you can grow to love someone, but I don't really think that when you first look at someone, it's like, oh, I love you. Like, nah, you gotta like take some time, years for me to like say, I love you. Flaws you're working on, um, being comfortable in my own skin. Like my body was such an issue for me over the past couple years. But once I got to college, I really um got comfortable in my shape. So that's something I'm working on. My makeup routine, for real, for real, my makeup routine difference every day. Like I'm still learning, that's the crazy thing. What I do is a couple days when I wear um foundation, I'll wear foundation, you know, put the whole face on. And then if I wear foundation for like two days in a row, the third day, if I want to get cute, I'll wear like eyes, but I won't put foundation on just because I want to give my skin um, time to breathe and too much foundation is going to create acne. And the, f the key to good makeup is good skin. So you got to really be like careful with how much makeup you put on and what you're putting on your face. Shea butter, I put that on all the time, every night when I go to sleep and that really be helping my skin like stay smooth and shine. And like when I put highlight on, you can really see it. And yeah, I don't really have like a, a steady makeup routine. Like everything be different. I be trying new stuff and everything. My idea of a perfect date, don't take me to the movies. That's not, I don't, I don't like that. Don't go to the movies. We're not doing that. Don't take me to eat. That's boring. I want to go somewhere that nobody else has done before. Like a picnic. A picnic with everything out. Us painting. You can eat and stuff like that. Most powerful skill one person can have. 
when you're truly 100% in tune with yourself, um, nobody else's opinions matter. What anybody else say doesn't matter. That's when, like, that's the most perfect thing that someone can have. And not, like, just say it, just to say it because it sounds good, but when they actually like are living in in tune with themselves and they don't give no flying about nobody else's opinion that's like the best that's the stage i'm really trying to get at like where i just don't care about nothing i'm almost there but like i be i be caring sometimes what people gotta say and i need to stop because their opinions really don't matter where do i see myself in um by the age of 25 plan on moving to dc right after i finish school see myself getting a little job editing cali has good film but i don't really want to go to california right now right now because it's expensive and i'm gonna just be um out of school i plan on being on my own at 25 definitely let's see let's see then and now pictures y'all trying to really expose me all right this is a then picture this is a now picture Thank God for puberty. That's all I'm going to say on that one. If you can go somewhere one time your whole life, where would you go? I'm going to Bala. That's no question. If you know me, you know Bala is my dream place to go. It's in the islands. When Diera and Ken went there, I literally was like, yeah, I'm going here. Favorite memory? That's so hard because I have like two memories that's tied. The day I graduated, the day that the baby called me. Every time I'm in my, in my um, camera roll and I scroll past that video, I have to click it and I have to play it and I have to watch it and I have to like fantasize and like just like take a step back to be like, girl, he called you like nobody, like the world's hottest rapper called you. He said your name and everything. And then when I met Eric Bellinger and then I met her, like my, my favorite memories are the ones where I just meet people that just like, make me smile or inspiration i like seeing people that make me happy because it's just like okay it's like gasoline you just add in add in energy into my tank what is my type rich ain't thinking that's my no nah, just kidding. i want someone with ambition goals um someone that can motivate me someone that i can motivate we can motivate each other um, someone that can really make me laugh. Like, I love to smile. I love to laugh. I love just positive energy, if you cannot tell. So, if I have someone that's boring, it's just like, you're why not wasting my smile because I'm not using it on you. But I want to be able to be, <laughs> like, all day. I want to be laughing, making memories. I want someone to travel with. I don't really care about, like, look-wise, but y'all ask for my type, so I'm going to give y'all my type and details dark dark i like i like i like some dark chocolate okay i like dark chocolate and be respectful like i said before i don't like nobody that's disrespectful be respectful you respect my um myself you respect my morals you respect my values you respect what i say yeah we good, we Gucci. What three words you would describe your growth? What are three words that will describe my growth? That is a really good question. Like I'm really stuck. I'm still growing. And I feel like I won't have that answer until I'm 100% grown and growth. And I can really be like, okay. Cause I'm still growing, I'm still learning. I would say that I'm very like open to my growth, like open to new things. I've taken in meditation. I've taken in journal. That's all the questions that I have for real, for real. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Thank you guys for commenting. Thank you guys for DMing me. Thank you guys for your overall support. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe again before you leave this video. And I'm gonna see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Do it, say that, do it, say that, baby.